Hello everyone, today we're going to be going through how to make a music system in Roblox. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my properties in Explorer, and then I'm going to head over to the workspace and I'm going to add in a new folder. I'm going to rename this folder to music. Okay, now under this music folder, I'm going to hit add and add in sound. Now you'll see under the properties of this sound, we will find sound ID. In here, I'm going to add a sound called cypher. And I'll leave all these IDs in the description. Now I'm going to rename this sound to Cypher, as that is the name of it. I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to maybe make another one for Electro Doodle, which is another very popular Roblox sound. You can do as many as you like, by the way. Okay, now once you've got all your musics within the music folder, we want to add a string value. So let's search string value. And I'm going to rename this to Music playing this will be our this will be the music that is currently playing in our game and we're also going to add in a script and this will become our sound manager within this script we're going to create a variable for where our songs are being stored so that will be local and i'll just call it songs equals script dot parent then we're also going to need to create a table to save all these songs onto so i'm going to create a local table now you see it'll actually go blue as table is already a word commonly used in Lua. So what you want to do is maybe call it like song table. So I'm going to call it song table equals and for now we'll just leave these braces here. This basically means it is an empty table. And then we're also going to create a local last song equals nil. This last song will be the song that previously played and this will stop us from playing it again two times in a row. So now we're going to create a for loop for i, comma v in pairs songs colon get children, and what this will do is it will loop through every single child of the songs playlist. So for each music there is, it will loop through it. Now we need to do if v is a sound, then we want to add that to the table because it's music, so we want to add it to the table. So we'll do table dot insert, and then we want the table name, which in our case is song table, comma, and then the item we're inserting, which is in our case is V. V is the game object, and I is the index of the object. Now let's type in while true, and in here we're going to need to loop through each song and play them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this for loop up here and paste it into here. Now instead of songs colon get children, what we want is song table and we can remove this sound. Now what we want to do is create a chosen song variable, which is the song that has been chosen to play. So local chosen song equals table, remember it's song table, and then we want to do the square bracket as this will search for the index of the table, and we'll do math.random one comma hashtag song table now while this looks quite confusing what this means is the chosen song will be a random song from the song table between the index of one and the number of songs there are now you'll actually notice i made a mistake here this one should actually be a zero because the indexes start on zero they don't start at one so anyway once we've done that we want to repeat wait chosen song equals song table once again i'm going to copy this here and paste that into the song table into the square brackets until chosen song is not equal to last song now in short this will wait until the chosen song is not equal to the last song played so it can't play the same song twice in a row and then what you want to do is say last song equals chosen song this will set our previous song for the next song to be played. And then we'll say script.parent dot music playing dot value equals to string chosen song. Now this will set our music playing string value up here to the name of the chosen song. Next we'll say chosen song colon play and this will play the song. And then we're gonna say chosen song dot ended colon wait this will wait until the song has ended and then we want to stop it chosen song colon stop 
like that. Then after this for loop, we want to simply wait a frame. Now I say it will wait a frame, but if you want to be specific, it's around 0.03 seconds. Okay, now this should actually work. If we now hit play, test and play, we can walk around. Let's make sure we go over to our settings and make sure our volume's up. Now you may actually get errors in your output saying action item, experience doesn't have permissions for sound access, blah, 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 blah. Click here to grant permi experience permission. Now this means that the audio that I'm using, I do not have permission to use. So I have to use some different audios. So I'm going to go find some different audios now. Okay, so I've actually just gone and changed what audios are playing because I was encountering some permission problems. So now if we hit play. Okay, so after turning it down, you can see we've got music. If we head over to our music folder, you see music playing is Paradise Falls, which is the name of this song here. Okay, so once the song ends, you'll see it will play a number one. And just like that, it will loop. It will loop through the music, and you've got a music system in your Roblox game. So, I hope you enjoyed everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.